In this video, I'll demonstrate for you a simple but thorough procedure for painting a convincing portrait likeness in a single sitting using 29 logical steps. I hope you'll watch the demonstration in its entirety and then give the 29 step method a thorough trial. Perhaps you'll end up with a less structured approach. But I can guarantee that the method shown here has worked well for me and many other artists during my 30 years of teaching. I think you'll agree that this is a really good disciplinary exercise. I'm going to begin now by taking a little bit of the middle neutral, neutral five, just a small amount of it on the brush, thinned out and wiped off. Step one involves uh, establishing the size and placement, and we do that with simply four strokes. The first one marks the highest point on the hair, and I'm going to place it about there, about two and a half inches down from the top of the canvas. The second stroke marks the bottom of the chin, and I'm going to make that stroke about there. That's about nine and a half inches between those two strokes. The third stroke marks the furthest point to the left on the sitter's hair. And the fourth stroke, the furthest point to the right. Just four strokes, but they establish the size of the main image and its placement on the canvas. Now I'm going to proceed to block in the contours of my major shape. And I'm working from the outside. I'm trying to establish the outside contours. I'm using fairly straightish lines, the long uh, diagonal of the mass of the hair as a, as a straight line. On this side, the uh, long diagonal of the mass of the hair. The um, vertical of the um, of the neck where it meets the chin. The uh, V of the of the neckline. And uh, the large, uh, very distinctive shape of the of the mass of the hair. Trying to uh, trying to express it in almost uh, abstract uh, sort of poster-like shapes, rather than concern for. The detail, establishing that outer contour of my main shape is step number two. The next step is to divide the mass of the face from the mass of the hair. I'm going to start by showing the curve of the hairline, the uh, approximate subtle curve of the forehead and cheekbone where the hair meets the face on this side and um, just uh, essentially as an oval the uh, curve of the lower portion of the face and the jawline. Now we have our two main shapes, the shape of the face and the shape of the hair.
Step four involves the drawing of the central facial axis. It's a single stroke running from the forehead right down through the nose, through the center of the face. It curves ever so slightly and you might think of, as you draw it, you might think of the seam of a football. In this step, we're going to add landmarks to our, to our map, to our layout. And I'm going to start with a, a, an axis, a line running horizontally through where the eyes will be. The eyes will be located on that horizontal axis. The, the iris of one eye there 